What is going on guys, Carlos here from Live Gaming Paradise we are back again with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and this time we're doing the Momo 6 Shrine which is the Death Caldera Crystal uh, Shrine Quest and uh, it, it's located in the, near the Death Mountain I'm doing all of these ones because I've just finished doing um, the main quest Yonubo of Goran City so I decided to just do all the shrines around here as well so this one is pretty straightforward there's not much to do a couple of things that you probably have to um, to be aware of but nothing major just have to come to the shrine frame and that's the location exactly where of where it is you just need to come to the shrine frame and then activate it and you'll get like a green beam of a uh, uh, like a laser beam sort of thing pointing to the mountain obviously it's going to point to a part of the mountain it's like a straight line so it, it doesn't tell you that you need to go through a specific entrance it just tells you where the crystal is located in a straight line so obviously you can't come through here it's going to be an entrance to the right in here with some of that those blue kind of like uh, um, boulders but they are much much tougher to destroy so uh, I sped up this part while I was breaking the rocks up. I don't see a, 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 um, a point in leaving that in because it just takes such a long time, these ones. Especially with the weapons that I've got. I haven't got very strong weapons. I've got like rock hammers and stuff. So I just kept on destroying it, destroying them, like uh, breaking all the rocks in here. That's all you need to do is just keep on breaking these rocks until you get to the other side, until you um, make an opening and get to the other side. Uh, when you're coming back you need to bring the crystal in so just make sure that it's wide enough as you walk in there's going to be an oriblin hanging from the ceiling again this is the death mountain so all of your arrows are going to be on fire so this makes uh, makes it easier to defeat them because once you shoot them the arrow will be on fire and uh, they will get set on fire and obviously they will get damaged now when we get in here what we need to do there's going to be a fan on left hand side in here loads of uh uh, precious stones in here so it's always good to break all of this stuff um, but just pick up the fan whenever you're ready and uh, we're going to attach it to this minecart and put the minecart on uh, tracks and then we're going to go and get the bubble that's going to be the first one to get in this cave so just use your ultra hand and uh, attach the the fan to the back of this uh, minecart here uh, and uh, once it's all attached then uh, you just put the mine car onto the track and we're going to go for a little ride so the first one as I said is going to be the bubble so you can get your bubble crystal uh, so just activate the fan and you're going to have to uh, come out of the car and that area there you can't carry on with uh, in, on the tracks because uh, or else you won't be able to get that bubble but the, the crystal is on the other side so when you get in here just go slowly and then just one arrow uh, so you won't be running around just hit it on the head and that uh, will um, get it to give you the crystal and or oh, sorry the uh, get you to give you the the gem and then all you need to do is get back on the track and we're gonna go towards the other side towards the um, where the crystal is and then it's going to be like a pretty straight straightforward thing you need to like load the crystal and onto the minecart and uh, and that's it just just come back with it so there's another minecart in here we need to just put it over there on the tracks the only difference is that it's not going to be straightforward you can't just pick up the crystal it's attached onto um, an igneo ta uh, talus and uh, it's like a, a malted kind of like lava one so it is quite tough but um, just use all the all, all the stuff that you got that there's made of ice um, and uh, that should you know work really really well for you um, just disconnect the fan so it's not uh, constantly on and then as you can see the the talus is here uh, so all you need to do is just hit it one time to start the the quest and then there you go the choo choos are really really good because they will just make it make that lava that malted lava kind of like go uh go a uh, cold and then you'll be able it, it will just come down and you'll be able to to climb on top of it and use your strongest weapon um and uh yeah so uh, basically use your strongest weapon and there we go it is going to shoot at me here we go uh, use your strongest weapon to try to deal as much damage to the crystal as possible so you can get detached from it the strongest weapons that I had was this one here 22 fire breathe um, 
but you, if you've got stronger weapons than that then I would advise you to use them because this one will take quite a bit of time to do and it's constantly on fire but it did take quite a deal, deal quite a lot of damage to the to the crystal so I got like halfway through with all the stamina that I had and then he kicked me out and uh, I had to start the process all over again and try to get on top of it but eventually you get to this stage and then you just hit it a few more times and uh, you will uh, defeat it and all you need to do then is just pick up the crystal put it on a mine car and we're gonna go all the way back just make sure that you eat because while you're standing on the on the talus it's uh, it's con con constantly consuming your energy so it's worth uh, eating when you got a chance so you won't have to redo this thing it's going to be quite a few uh, pressure stones as you can see that the talus will uh, kind of like uh, uh, drop once he gets defeated I still don't know what this is for it's got to be for something but I have no idea what it's for you obviously can't put it in your inventory so I don't know the purpose of that but when you're ready we're going to pick up the crystal and we're going to go to the to the tracks I was just seeing if there was a bridge in here which I could use instead of having to use the mine car but with the mine car is quite uh, straightforward as well anyway you don't need to stop anywhere else you just go all the way directly to the entrance because the tracks will lead you right to the entrance so just take one of the mine carts out and then j the other one just rotate it and put it the other way around going towards uh, uh, your the the entrance or the exit and then you just need to grab the crystal and uh, glue the crystal inside don't just place it inside just glue it so you, you make sure that it's going to be secure and then just activate the fan and uh, go for a ride really you just have to go all the way to the entrance uh, when you get to the entrance because we didn't destroy too much of the entrance you won't be able to uh, to get out with the uh, with the mine car so you will stop in here so all you need to do then is if, if you want uh, you can destroy uh, more of the boulders uh, and uh, and that, like that you will uh, you'll be able to go with a minecart exactly that but it doesn't it only goes a little bit further on not not a lot see it will end right here so it's better to just take the crystal out and just go directly to where the crystal um, uh, frame is place the crystal in the frame and uh, what would happen is the the, the shrine will uh, uh, appear basically and uh, you'll be able to go in and this shrine is nothing really major with it you just have to go and pick up what's inside of the chest it's a Raru's blessing so you, just have, you don't have anything to do inside the shrine uh, the the shrine quest is what uh, you know is the challenge basically so all you need to do is like collect what's inside of the chest and uh, that that is it uh, collect your lighter blessing and you are done so um, I guess this is it for this one guys, thank you very much for watching, if you did like this video or if this video helped you please give us a like, consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this. If you'd like to know how I do my YouTube videos, I'll work with video, audio, editing, what programs I use uh, for thumbnails, uh, how I will remove elements from thumbnails, you can become a member and I've released a series of videos that explain how uh, I do that, what, what process I use and that will give me a little kickback. Uh, and uh, I really really appreciate all of the help you guys can give me I guess this is it for this one guys thank you very much for watching I will see you in the next one goodbye